How y'all doing? Uh, this is the poem called Old Versus the New. And it goes like this. I assume you've heard of this place full of weeping and gnashing of teeth. It's where your deepest fears come alive and strive to suffocate, sucking every breath of life. Religious people dare not go there. Spiritual ones have already come and done a duration, not wanting to go back because they know what's waiting. Appreciation is the byproduct of ones who's lost it all, fell to his bottom, looking up, finding his call. Ephesians 4 spoke of a new man not wanting his old life no more, but it took an abrupt apprehension of anticipating the life I had was taken, excuse me, given, for counterfeits. I was deceived, but it felt good to me. I sold my soul, and the price was cheap, metamorphosis from boy to swine's feet, addicted to the night, attracted to sin, Pushing my family away, refusing to let them in. The law was non-existent, not wanting to believe, until one day the Lord smacked me to my knees. Forgiveness, forgiveness was whispered the key to break free from this torture chamber self-imposed on me. But that's just a start to this quest on his chart when he bought me back with the blood and water that dripped from his heart. From just one touch, I got just one look. That's all it took. Allergic, broke out in violent convulsions, seeing his pain, enough to cover our oceans. Do you know what it's like to be incomplete? You see, if she's my rib, then part of me's obsolete. Without her, our relationship ancient or outdated. That's why marriage is vital to complete the formula to become one. Through seeking his face, we're called to marry his son. Him, the groom, us, the bride, part of his body tucked under his side. Called to walk in love, called to walk in light. Thank God for Jesus, our wonderful Christ. Thank you very much.